Thank you very much for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, there's a couple questions I have as well. They always say that copying is the best form of flattery, and you blatantly mentioned that you are going to steal from your competitors. So I'm curious what that is, what you'd like to steal from Nike, and why. It's, it's basically to continue, uh, continue to take points away from the, the other brands, uh, New Balance, Adidas, uh, Nike, in running. Uh, that's our core strength, and we will, you know, continue to uh, attack aggressively with product. We're a product company. We're not a big spending company like a Nike or an Adidas is when it comes to advertising uh, and um, athletes. We we have a core of uh, five or six five or six athletes that maybe people in the room, Nina Castor, Ryan Hall, marathon people, some people in the room have heard of, but they're probably enthusiasts. But the thing with our athletes is they're really fine quality people and uh, we, don't, we don't spend a lot of money on brand names that we can't afford. And over the last couple of years, you've discussed raising and elevating your brand and gotten to rise above Adidas and some of the others. What's the one piece of advice you would have for any business in this room in this kind of economy on how you've elevated your business? Well, I think that uh, I've come from a financial background and have not always been in favor of advertising and promotion spending, but I can see the fruits of our success in what's happened in our uh, in the last three or four years when we stepped up in 2008. We did a global campaign, a TV campaign, more expensive. That's been very, very successful, uh, and, and we have. Our key event, our Super Bowl, is the New York City Marathon. We think that's the premier marathon in the world, and we're, we're the main footwear sponsor of that marathon, so we'll continue to invest in that. So I think my advice is to, to recognize uh, the strength that you, have, that you have as a business and to really focus on that strength. And, uh, about uh, 15 years ago, we took the approach of saying, you know what, we want to be the best running brands we can be. We still do wrestling, we still do volleyball, we do very well in, the, in walking and cross training, but people know us for running. And, uh, and back at that time we said, hey, baseball's out for now, basketball's out for now. We still make those products in Japan, we still sell some in the United States. We're not putting promotional dollars behind that. Yeah, a related question. It's great to know that you're leading the products, with a lot of the products that you're selling, and that's how you're stating the market share. Uh, you mentioned that the number one recreation activity is walking, and I love to walk every day, uh, and so are my parents. Uh, are you planning to create a specific brand of walking shoes? Well, we have we have walking shoes specifically for walking, but many people like to use running shoes when they walk. Uh, I think there's probably a, a lack of uh, education on the part of the uh, sporting goods stores that are specifically sell the shoes to say, oh, you can you can use this shoe for walking, uh, where walking shoe may be better suited. Running shoes are fine. They, they work well, but uh, we do have we do have specific shoes that are geared for walking and, and they're really fine shoes. The other brands have great shoes as well. It's just a matter of finding what's comfortable and what works for you as a, a user. And what we find is once people find our brand, we find more repeat customers than most other brands. They'll stay loyal to our brand. Richard, considering that the next topic is about local resource utilization, um, how has Irvine contributed to ASICs in, during this down economy? How have you turned to the city of Irvine and our businesses? Well, I, I have to be honest with you, we, we have been somewhat self-sufficient. Uh, but, but we have been in a hiring mode. Uh, we, um, we have offices over on, uh, on up Bay Parkway on Parker. They are, they are great facilities that uh, we move from the Moon Canyon Road. And uh, Irvine provides a great environment for our employees to uh, come to every day. So uh, I have not tapped in onto specific resources. Probably because of a lack of knowledge, for one thing, and uh, <coughs> second, secondly, our, our business is doing well.